Hello Mosaic friends and welcome to four methods for shaping Weedy Board. In this tutorial you're going to learn four methods for shaping Weedy Board. I love working with Weedy Board. It's one of my favorite substrates. It is such a fantastic product. It is lightweight, it's waterproof, it's really durable, and it has really good rigidity to it too, which I really love. It's polystyrene in the center with cementitious mesh on either side of it. So it's really strong and it's great for exterior product as well as interior too. So in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to cut the weedy board, just starting with a straight line using a carpenter's knife. That's our first section. And then you'll move on to how to cut curved shapes and we'll create this cat shape. Next, you're gonna learn how to create the heart shape. And we're gonna use a hand jigsaw to do that. Once you learn this, I think you'll be as addicted as I've always been with. Once I learned how to use the hand jigsaw with Weedy Board, I make shapes all the time, all kinds of intricate, fun things. But this is a wonderful beginner shape to get started with. And last but not least, you're gonna learn how to make the substrate of this mosaic. So this is actually a 3D shape here. It's a convex shape on top of a flat piece of Weedy Board. And I'll teach you how to create that convex shape. I'm also going to show you how to do the hanging hardware onto Weedy Board, which is a really great thing to learn. So you really have a lot to take away from this tutorial, and I think you'll really enjoy the different ways that you can learn how to shape Weedy Board. So next in the next section, you're going to have the list of resources that you can get yourself, as well as the option to buy the kit. 